Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I've got another Glossier video for you and this time I will be reviewing and swatching all of the cloud paints and I am super excited about this video because four of these shades are actually brand new to me. I've never tried them and I definitely ordered them just for this video. If you want to shop Glossier and get 10% off, I have a rep link down below in the description box where you can get that discount, but let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, let's just talk about how stinking cute cloud paint is it's been out for a while and i only had two shades of it like i mentioned i owned dusk and storm previously and believe it or not i've used these a ton you just barely use any and so these last forever so the new shades that i ordered were puff haze beam and dawn and i actually already opened all of these because i filmed the swatching prior to filming this portion right here so all of these have been opened but those swatches were actually my first impressions now that i've kind of seen them swatched i figured we could talk about each one and then i wanted to rank my favorites based on my personal skin tone but hopefully this video does give you an idea of the different shades and what they look like so we're gonna start with one of the shades that I owned previous to buying the other ones and the first one is Storm. This is my all-time favorite. It's this beautiful muted mauve and the cloud paint that I would say is most similar to Storm is actually Haze but they're quite different as I noticed when I swatched them. So Storm is a little bit more of a reddish undertone whereas Haze is definitely like a pure Berry. So if you think of the Generation G and Jam, this is definitely on par with that. Storm is a more reddish, warm undertone. It's definitely less purple. So this one is super beautiful on olive skin, and I actually don't have any blush on. And I thought about trying all of them on on my face, but I realized that would not go over well because blushes are a little bit harder to test out than like a lip color because obviously I'd have to like wipe my face take my foundation off and like redo everything every single time so that's why I went ahead and did the swatches on the arm but I did want to apply storm just so if you're new to cloud paint you can kind of get an idea of how to apply it because a little goes a very very long way and so when I first got cloud paint I squeezed the tube and so much came out and not even like a big amount of product came out but you seriously just dab your finger on it you don't even need to squeeze the tube really because if you squeeze it and a bunch comes out it's kind of like wasted product this one is definitely pre-loved and as you can see there's some product just sitting on the top so what i actually do is just use my middle finger and tap it onto my finger like that and then kind of soft smile and pat it into my cheeks Obviously, you can apply more. With cloud paint, I definitely suggest starting light and building up because you just can't really take back too much blush. You know what I mean? Like, if you apply too much, you're kind of in trouble. Cloud paint is also just a lot of working it into the skin. When you first apply it, honestly, it looks kind of scary and you regret ruining your makeup when you first apply it because you're like, oh no, I just smeared this bright color onto my face, but it really blends into the skin nicely and looks super natural once it's blended so just a little bit of product on your finger really work it into your cheeks and kind of like smile as you go like i said storm is my personal favorite for my skin tone so if you are asian and you have olive skin you will probably love storm but i really like the look of cloud paint on my skin because it's super natural looking you just look like you have a little bit more life in you, you're like awake. So I'm a big fan of cloud paint, especially this shade. The second shade that I owned and I really, really liked on my skin tone is the shade Dusk. And this one has a lot of brown undertones. So it almost looks like you're more sun-kissed than you are like blushing. I think though, if you have darker skin, this one, may not show up you may want to go with haze or storm something a little bit more bold but this one is really nice on lighter skin especially if you want a blush that isn't like ba-bam i'm wearing blush this is like a very subtle 
pretty blush it honestly doesn't even really look like blush it's more of like applying a bronzer almost to your cheeks it just looks like you got a little bit more sun so i'm a big fan of this one this one feels like a really safe option so if you have lighter skin and you're not really sure how your skin's gonna look with cloud paint i really don't think you can go wrong with dusk because it is such a neutral tone now we're gonna get into the cloud paints that are new so this first one right here is puff and this is a barbie pink blush this would look amazing if you have really fair skin if you have really really light skin this is gonna be so dang beautiful and i'm honestly so jealous that you can wear this shade i don't do a lot of baby pink especially on my lips the blush isn't necessarily something that i would gravitate towards but if you can rock a light pink lip i definitely feel like you would look so good with this shade it's just a little bit too pastel-y pink for me whereas i tend to go more towards orange undertones and like reddish undertones is what I really like on my skin. I don't know if that's correct. Like if you ask a makeup artist, they'd probably be like, why is she wearing those shades? Those are horrible. But for me personally, I think I look the best with Storm and Haze. Next is Dawn and Dawn is orange and not in a bad way i promise once you are blending this one out if you have a deeper skin tone this is gonna be really really gorgeous and i actually don't mind this shade on my skin tone it's definitely i don't know why i said orange it's more of like a coral like it has a little bit of a pinkish reddish tint to it but if we're like you know calling it pink or orange it's on the orange side and this is definitely one that if you are going to choose to use this start light with this because the second you you know press it onto the skin you're like oh no what did i do but like all the cloud paints it blends out really nicely so overall i definitely will get some use out of this this is more of a summer blush i would say next is haze and this one is really really beautiful i feel like this shade would look good on everyone if you have really really fair skin definitely go light-handed on it but it's gonna blend out and look so beautiful if you are a fan of the jam generation g you're gonna love this it's so on par with that color if you love just a good berry tint this is really really pretty i think it looks great on all of skin tones it's one of those darker shades so if you have darker skin you're still gonna see it and it's still gonna be really beautiful i would definitely categorize haze as a fall and winter blush I don't know if you guys categorize your makeup by season, but I definitely think more of the berries and the deep reds are fall and winter and the corals and the lighter pinks and stuff kind of categorized, at least for me, spring and summer. So this is a great fall blush. I'm definitely gonna use Haze. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love that you can match it with the Jam Generation G and I think a good like berry lip and berry cheek is so pretty. Last is Beam and this one is another Another just really great safe blush again though if you have darker skin this may not show up but it's really close to the dusk shade it's a little bit lighter and more peachy than dusk like dusk is definitely like a neutrally toned blush this one has a little bit of a peach tone to it but it's really pretty on all the skin and I definitely think it would look so good on fair skin as well and I wanted you to see that it's just the slightest difference from dusk so I hope you guys found this review helpful and don't forget to use my link in the description box if you want 10% off of your Glossier order but if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which cloud paints you own or if you end up getting any let me know which ones you get if you order all six let me know don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you back for some more videos I post glossy say reviews literally all the time so let me know what you'd like me to review next and i will see you in my next one bye